Southie's ligature, and this is the read. So, uh, because I'm not exactly sure who used this lab, well, I do know who, um, we're just gonna take that spray and get the Dr. Matthews out of there. Um, we'll take the ligature, I'll just t I'll loosen the screws just a little bit. You might be able to just slide it off, it looks like it's pretty loose. There we go, and just, just put it like in that, on top of the cloth stuff. Um, and then just make sure you spray, just spray like one spray here at least. And just, this stuff is very, very good. You really just need like one, and it'll take about uh, two or three minutes to dry. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna leave that standing kind of like right there. Okay. Let it dry. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna lift it more down. Okay. Um, and take your reed out of its case. Now make sure you you don't touch the tip, which is the the part that's in that not on that side. Okay. So the part that's really really thin, because mm -hmm. um, that's the most fragile part. And you're gonna take the side that has this like nice little wood part and put that on your tongue. Basically. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Kind of crazy where mm -hmm. this stuff was, but um, so as we're doing that, it's gonna sound a little weird because I can't talk <laughs> with really well. You're gonna take this is called an, this is called the neck strap, mm -hmm. and this is probably the the one of the most important parts of the saxophone. I mean, keep it in there. My, I already wet mine. I already oh, wet okay. mine. So just keep it in there. Um, so I can talk. Um, you're gonna take that out of here. Um, here, can you talk a little? Um, so it, yeah, it's just the strap. Oh, there you go. Right, this one. Yeah. And it's gonna slide that over your head. And this is the, the. This is really important with saxophone because this is a pretty heavy instrument. Um, and it, this way. The weight of the saxophone is going to be on your neck instead of on your fingers, so your fingers can move around easily. So, I'm going to have you flip, flip the reed over so you can see the other side I actually went to. Just like, good job, nice hot pie system. <laughs> Got so live in there. Um, okay, so we're going to start just with the mouthpiece and the neck. So, grab your uh, neck and your mouthpiece. Yeah, it should be dry. You might, you can twice on your pants if you want. Just uh, there you go. Yeah, uh, it's, it's very clean. It's pretty extra. So you're gonna stick this part on the cork. Yeah, just kind of screw it on there, nice and gently, until. Do you see where the um the color changes? Mm -hmm. You're gonna want to put it like way far down, farther than you think is necessary. one side's kind of bigger than the other, like one end. You're going to put the bigger end going down, just drop it. Yeah, just drop it. Yeah. And then, this is kind of where it gets tricky. So you're going to take your reed, and the side that's like all flat, usually with the uh, with the logo on it, so yeah, it's the side facing you, you're going to put that in, uh, in all the way down. So, again, don't make sure you don't not touch the reed. So, flip it around, so that the flat side is hitting the flat side. Yeah. And then slide it, slide it, not not inside, but just over the, like over over on top. It'll it'll fit right on top of this, and create a nice little seal. So slide it. So you're gonna slide it all the way down. Like like slide it down. Like okay, that. so this needs to. You might need to loosen the ligature. Yeah, you might you might need to loosen that just a little bit. And you're gonna make sure the screws are facing you. So. Like the, like the most of the action happens on this side, so you're gonna have the, the screws facing you, the reed facing you. Here, you can put your, put, put your reed back in your mouth so you can like <laughs> flip it around. There you go. So, <laughs> yeah, okay, you have it right, other side. Just flip it around the other side. Yeah, exactly, just like that. And then. Um, slide the ligature up just a little bit so you can get the reed underneath it, and then you're gonna slide the reed. This way. Yes, that way, just nice and gently underneath until oh, okay. until when you turn when you turn it like this, so this part is facing you. Um, you're gonna you're gonna be able to see just a little bit of the reed above top, above the top of the mouth. Now I'll check it for you before we check it. Start so. 
Yeah, you can, you can even go just a little bit lower. So kind of what I do is put your thumb, like I don't want to touch your reach, put your thumb like right here and just kind of push it down just a little bit. Perfect, yes, exactly. And then tighten it, tight as many as you need to. No, you won't hurt the reach. Breathing exercise. Um, so just oh, sorry. How you okay? um, so just like just hold the, the neck in your lap, and so sit up nice and straight. Um, make sure your diaphragm is nice and awake, and we're gonna just go breathe in for a count of four and out for a count of four. Okay, so I'll snap. I'll snap the numbers. So in, out. Exactly. Make sure you get a nice low breath. So like you're, so you're not breathing from your upper part, but from your lower, like your lower, like you're, like you're, like you're in choir when you sing or any kind of thing. So you just gotta feel that. You know, you, so you can hear my stomach expand. <laughs> it's kind of like this little frog noise. <laughs> um, so we're gonna just let's just try that one more time. So. Try that one more time, but with this time we're gonna add something different. We're gonna go in the mouthpiece. So just wa watch me first, because it's kind of it's kind of weird. So we're gonna go in for four, out for four. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's try that. Um, ready. Exactly. Okay. So now this is where it gets kind of fun. So we're gonna make our first sound on the mouthpiece. Yay! Or the head joint. Neck. That's what it's called in the saxophone. Um, so we're gonna make sure it reads really wet, and it's gonna sound kind of like this. It does not sound pretty, <laughs> but it's gonna sound like that. So when you're doing this, really make sure that you. So for for right now, take. Uh, just take your mouthpiece and kind of put this flat part on your top teeth and kind of use your use your bottom lip as a springboard so you're not going to bite both sides so you're going to use your bottom lip just to kind of close it off and then imagine your corners the part of your mouth pulled in like a drawstring jag so whoop. yeah but then it's here you'll, you're just going to just relax hmm? and then we're going to go just whatever you're ready just breathe in so breathe in through the corner of your mouth. So uh. <laughs> no, you're good, you're good, okay. So you're gonna yeah, so you're so you're gonna breathe in through the corners. So the the reason I did the breathe through the mouthpiece and into the mouthpiece is just to see how much air it takes to push through the reeds. But when you're playing the saxophone, you're gonna breathe through the corners. So you're gonna go So really make sure your bottom lip is being rolled under. Yes, exactly. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna really, really make sure you're supporting with a whole lot of air, like you're yelling at your sister or something. I don't know if you do that, but <laughs> um, so really make sure you've got a whole bunch of air. So one, two, ready. not have a uh, saxophone part, so that's good. Okay, so you're gonna take it, take the big old body. So put the put the neck in, just in the just in the main body of your case right now. Yeah, it's right there. So you're gonna take the harness of this thing, 
and you should have a little latch on the back, a little like loop thing. Um, right there, this guy. Okay. Yeah, and you're going to take the uh, plastic part of your mouthpiece and just clip it on the neck, or of your neck strap and just clip it on there. Uh. There you go. And now we're going to put the neck of, uh, on, like right in the top hole here. Just nice and wiggle it on in there. Awesome. Um, did that go on pretty easy or did it take a little bit of effort? Yeah, pretty easy. Okay, so you're gonna, this little screw right there, just, tight, just tighten it just a, just a smidgen. Yeah, that way your neck doesn't move when you play. Um, this is hard of like clipping. Yeah, okay, so that we're, we're gonna talk about that. So you can, there's, uh, really quick, we'll, we'll deal with that in just a second. So I want to have you stand just to get, we're gonna make sure that the thing that you want to avoid when playing uh, saxophone is lifting it with your, with your hands. So the thing that probably takes the most time is just adjusting your neck strap accordingly. So and I'll, I'll help you. Just give me a second to adjust mine. So what you want is you want the saxophone when you when it's just kind of hanging here you know it's just kind of easy but then when you put your hands so for right now just just like grab just like grab the top and the bottom doesn't matter where and when when we we want the goal to be to bring it straight up to your mouth so like that so you don't have to lean down or anything so i gotta just do that that's fine okay so you want to just go and then grab it in a few spots and just Turn it up. So you're gonna have to tighten, tighten your neck strap just a little bit, or probably probably more than a little bit. So this is the tricky part. Uh, pull, pull this this strap up towards you. Oh, just kidding. No, uh, just pull. No, this one. This one. Pull this one down. Down. Yeah. Oh, that should be good. Right, try now. All right, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. There you go, perfect. It's gonna be, uh, th th these neck straps aren't very good, so they're gonna be a little bit off. Okay. okay. Does it feel like it's kind of shoving back in your face a little bit? Mm -hmm. Okay, so pull this side up. Just a smear. So just a smear. <laughs> a smear. You know, a smidgen, a hair. Uh, that looks perfect. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna sit back down. And the interesting thing about the saxophone is there are two different ways you can hold it. You can either hold it, in, you look like you're gonna be in, in between the legs of Tana Chica. So you want to sit, make sure you're sitting on the very edge of your chair. Let's cover this case. So the way I like to hold it is off to the side, and so my mouthpiece is a little bit crooked. But the, which is so just just experiment. So you're gonna put it to the other side of you. Um, just exp you should take some experimenting, whatever is comfortable. So just kind of like hold it, hold it however. You like in the middle? Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna make sure your mouthpiece just just twist it so that it's straight on. <laughs> yes, awesome, perfect. Okay, so now you have to deal with these hands. So you're gonna take for right now, just kind of hold your left hand. Use your left hand just to hold the top. Okay. So you're gonna take your right hand, and you see this little black curve. Yeah. Um, you're gonna put your thumb in there, mm -hmm. and you see the three pearls in the bottom. You're gonna go one, two, three. And then the top, you see the black, the little uh, black nubbin. Mm -hmm. You're gonna put your thumb there, and you see the there's three big pearls. You're gonna go one, two, three. Yes, exactly. So we're gonna play. Our first note is gonna be just your first finger down. So everything, actually, let's just start open. Everything open. So okay. you're supporting the weighted saxophone and most of your neck, a little bit on, like you're just kind of resting it on your thumb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it's gonna take a lot of air. So you ready? One, two. Yes. Oh, wow. All right. Well, okay. <laughs> Valley, you're holding out on me. Um, awesome. So we're going to do that one more time. 